Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss electronic devices and circuits part 3 semiconductor diodes semiconductor diodes what is meant by diode as the name itself it is a di di means two it is a diode is a two terminal device diode is a two terminal device and conduction in the semiconductor is due to both electrons and both electrons and holes both electrons and holes and coming to pn junction diode pn junction diode when we place uh, when we place one type as p, ter p type terminal and another type n type terminal it forms a pn junction it forms a pn junction and this diode is called pn junction diode Okay. placing of p type material one side and n type material another side it produces a pn junction and this diode is called as pn junction diode okay pn junction diode operates in uh, two biases that is the forward bias and reverse bias forward bias and reverse bias pn junction diode under forward bias under forward bias forward bias means positive terminal of the battery is connected to p type terminal and negative terminal of the battery is connected to n type terminal then it is called as a forward bias it is called as a forward bias whenever we connect a diode in the forward bias that is here the positive terminal is connected to p type and negative terminal is connected to n type Positive terminal is P type also positive, uh, it has positive carriers. So uh, the battery terminal is also positive. So both are repel each other and uh, this uh, carriers moves this side. That means, uh, and here also uh, both are same. Uh, so repel each other and then uh, the carriers moves this side. That means the, dip, the length of the, the width of the depletion region will be decreases by moving uh, these carriers this side and these carriers this side means the effective width of the depletion re region will be decreases that means it allows a majority carriers to flow through the junction to flow through the junction that means in case of forward bias the width of depletion region will be decreases then current causes to flow to flow through the junction to flow through the junction in the forward bias uh, as temperature increases the depletion region will be decreases and forward current increases and forward current increases and the minority carrier current is called here the minority carrier current is called reverse saturation current reverse saturation current very very important the minority the minority carrier current is called reverse saturation current it depends upon the temperature it depends upon the temperature that is it is increases uh, seven percent for every degree centigrade it increases seven uh, percent for every degree centigrade and it becomes approximately double for every 10 degrees rise in temperature every 10 degrees rise in temperature okay it becomes approximately double for every 10 degrees in temperature and when diode is uh, in forward biased the capacitance is called diffusion capacitance the capacitance is called diffusion capacitance and it is formed due to the junction and it is formed due to the junction and pn junction diode under reverse bias whenever the p type terminal is connected to negative terminal of the battery and n type terminal is connected to the positive terminal of the battery then it is called reverse bias then it is called reverse bias in this uh, both are uh, opposite direction opposite uh, signs that means uh, opposite carriers so the negative terminal of the battery uh, the negative terminal uh, means here it attracts the positive carriers here also positive attracts the negative carriers that means the width of the depletion region will be increases the width of the depletion region will be increases that means the region will be widened and uh, the barrier potential will be increased 
so only small amount of current flows through the junction only small amount of current flows through the junction so the reverse bias is mainly due to the minority carriers the small amount of current is also due to the minority carriers due to the minority carriers okay and uh, breakdown mechanisms breakdown mechanisms in diodes there are mainly two type of breakdown mechanisms in diodes they are nothing but Zener breakdown and avalanche breakdown avalanche breakdown what is Zener breakdown uh, this breakdown uh, Zener breakdown occurs uh, or it takes place below 6 volts below 6 volts that means if you if a diode is heavy uh, if if the doping is very high whenever the doping is very high the width of the uh, depletion region will be very less that means the electric field is very high so due to this high electric field the covalent bond breaks and it releases the electrons it releases the electron this breakdown is called Zener breakdown very very important question here is Zener breakdown takes place below 6 volts and avalanche breakdown takes place above 6 volts above 6 volts that means here above 6 volts uh, the width of the above 6 volts uh, it, uh, the covalent bond breaks and releases the electron and releases the electron in this avalanche breakdown uh, the doping is moderate the do here uh, in this uh, doping is moderate and width is more and hence electric field is low and electric field is low okay and next after pain junction diode next diode is uh, uh, gina diode very very important gina diode this is called as a, this is the diagram of gina diode and the important points regarding to this gina diode the gina diode is used as a voltage regulator voltage regulator it is nothing but gina diode is nothing but heavily doped pn junction diode heavily doped pn junction diode is called gina diode and here it is the Gina diode is used as a voltage regulator and one of the very important question here uh, Gina diode is this is a basic important question if the impurity concentration for Gina diode is 10 power 5 the impurity concentration for Gina diode is 10 power 5 the Gina breakdown voltage decreases with the increased in temperature Gina breakdown voltage decreases with increased in temperature and this Zener breakdown, avalanche breakdown voltage increases with the increase in temperature. In Zener breakdown, uh, breakdown voltage as uh, temperature increases, voltage also increases. Here avalanche breakdown as temperature increases, voltage also increases. Okay. Here as temperature increases, voltage decreases. Here as temperature increases, voltage also increases. And the Zener diode is equivalent of VR tube. Very very important. It is equivalent of VR tube okay and a scott key diode scott key diode it is a scott key diode the main important uh, questions uh, regarding to this scott key diode the material used for scott key diode it uses a material such as uh, gold silver etc okay gold and silver and the properties of this uh, scott key diode is uh, high speed it is a high it has a high speed and low voltage high speed low voltage and it is used in uh, digital logic families digital logic families okay here the material used for this is uh, gold silver these are very expensive okay so scott key diode is very expensive but it has uh, very good properties like uh, higher speed and low voltage and it is used in uh, digital logic families and coming to the tunnel diode the main important points regarding to this tunnel diode the impurity concentration in tunnel diode is 1 part in 10 power 3 1 part in 10 power 3 and the width of the junction barrier varies inversely as the square root of impurity concentration square root of impurity concentration the width of the junction barrier varies inversely as the square root of impurity concentration and uh, coming to the way characteristics of tunnel diode has negative resistance characteristic very very important VA characteristics of uh, tunnel diode has a negative resistance characteristic and if the diode is biased in negative resistance region 
if the diode is biased in negative resistance region it can be used as amplifier or oscillator it can be used as amplifier or oscillator and germanium or uh, gallium arsenide are the most widely used materials the materials used for uh, this uh, tunnel diode is germanium or gallium arsenide gallium arsenide and uh, next one varactar diode varactar diode this varactar diode is also called as varicap varicap or voltage variable capacitor it is a pn junction diode which is generally used in reverse bias which is generally used in reverse bias we know that uh, the capacitance uh, c is proportional to a by d or c equal to epsilon a by d here the capacitance of the varactar diode is uh, inversely proportional to the width of the depletion region and which in turn depend on the reverse bias voltage which in turn uh, depend upon the reverse bias voltage here the materials used very very important for all the diodes the materials used for varactar diode is silicon or gallium arsenide silicon or gallium arsenide and this varactar diode are used in automatic frequency control control that is afc varactar diodes are uh, mainly used in automatic frequency control okay okay friends in the next video i will discuss remaining topics of electronic devices and circuits thank you